Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Girls want to learn to bake cookies? Maybe I'll give you a little cookie dough for a treat. Oh, yay! We're gonna be cookies! Yippee! <laughs> you may have to compete with Washington. some fun tonight. Huh? We are? Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> It'll be fun for the whole family. You'll see. <laughs> okay, come on. Tell me what it is. It's something no cat can resist. It's a laser pen. And not just any laser pen. It's the Phantom Red 3000. Let the games begin. <laughs> Come on, don't catch it! Whoops, I'm too fast for you! <laughs> what is that thing she's chasing? I don't know, but whatever it is, she really wants it. We meet again, Red Dot, but this time you will be mine! <laughs> Sam, what's wrong? <laughs> what kind of cat doesn't want to catch the dot? Did you hear that, Sam? You gotta catch that dot! But I don't care about the dot. Well, you better fake it. Fake it? <laughs> Sam, if you don't get out there and catch that dot, Mr. L is going to find out you're not really a cat. <clears throat> catch the dot. Catch the dot. Go on, champ. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Huh? I'll catch you, red dot. <laughs> Sam. I've never seen a cat with such horrible aim! <laughs> what? Stand in my way, you clumsy boar! <laughs> I'm suddenly married to a big kid. He's going crazy with that toy. <laughs> Get it, Sam! Get it! By any means necessary! Out of my way! There are only winners in this family! Win, win, win! Dud! Get it, Sam! If you love this comfy life, you'll catch that dot! Red dot! Red dot! Come on, Sam, I'm with you! Come on, Sammy, you're the best! Come on, Sam! Red dot! Red dot! Must catch the red dot! <laughs> Sam, you're the clumsiest cat ever! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
isn't faking it anymore. It all costs. It all costs. Red dot. Red dot. Red dot. Red dot. Red dot. They've gone crazy. <laughs> Honey, I guess you don't want any of this leftover cookie dough. Boy, cookie dough, gimme, 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 gimme! Red dot, red dot, must catch the red dot at all costs! Red dot! You can do it, Chip! That dot is yours! Don't give up now, you're so close! Now listen to me. Carve into those turns when the dot takes those corners. Now, don't let Vic intimidate you. Just get right up there in front of her. Even if her claws do hurt a little. Oh yeah, and can you try not to whiz by Eugenie and Susie so much? They're pretty dizzy. I love this game. <laughs> red dot, must catch the red dot. You know you're never gonna get it, right? Dot. Wait, what? Red dot. How do you know that? Because hello, no cat has ever caught the red dot before. Huh? The cat who finally does catch the red dot will become the enlightened feline leader. Hmm. But that is pretty much definitely no way going to be Sam. No offense, Sam, but you are definitely not a cat. And since I'm the only cat here, that means you're going to lose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Catch the dot at all costs! Catch the dot! Huh? You really can't catch the <laughs> I think I need a timeout. Good idea. Red dot, get the red dot. <laughs> Come on, get it, Sam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get it, Vic. <laughs> oh, boy. This has to end. I gotta talk to Sam. Uh, Sam, listen, buddy, we gotta talk. Uh, I think Vic's right. You're never gonna catch that dot. So, you should stop now. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Sam? Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Tell him, Vic. Tell him. Red dot. 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 That stupid red dot has turned this entire household upside down. Stupid red dot. Making everyone crazy. Destroying everything. Stupid dot. Stupid dot that cannot... Susie, you know what to do. <laughs> I'm ready. 
I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I did. It's not every night your boss comes to dinner. Honey, you're a genius. Who doesn't love truffles, right? They cost a fortune, but... <laughs> These babies are gonna get me a tasty raise. The boss man will be very impressed. <laughs> you better keep your little nose out of these, Miss Victoria. So look, it's super simple. First, you throw it to the quarterback, who throws it to the runner over here. Hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> Football is fun! Get it! Yeah, you got it! Yes! Hmm, that smell. What is that? Why is that so familiar? <laughs> Uh, what's up with Sam? Oh, no! I remember it now! That smell is the smell of truffles! <laughs> Those precious truffles, they're nothing but trouble. They turn Sam into a maniac. They are his one true love. He loses control around them. Of course, there's not a wild boar in the world that can resist a truffle once he gets a taste. Yeah, we all love that smell, but you're gonna have to find a way to control him. Because guess who else is crazy for truffles? Babarusas? Mm -hmm. Humans! They cost a fortune! Mm, you don't say. I do. Mr. L's boss is coming to dinner tonight, and those truffles are for him. So if Sam so much as sneaks a nibble, they'll freak. <laughs> what about Eugenie? She's never tasted one, so it shouldn't be a problem. But this is not good. Girls, go get me anything you can find to plug up his nose, quick! Hey, buddy, what's up? Come on, <laughs> relax, take a deep breath. That's all we can find. This is for your own good, dude. Hold on a 
on a second. I've got an idea. I cured myself of balls of yarn with hypnosis. Let me handle this. Look at me. You do not like truffles. Uh, Listen to me. Uh, yeah, that really worked great. Uh, uh, truffles, truffles, truffles. Santa, please, stop! Uh, why did you do that? My truffle tagliatelle is going to be divine if I do say so myself. Mm. <laughs> No, no! I just couldn't control myself. Sorry. If you're sorry, you better make it clear you did it before we all get in trouble. We can be kicked out or even abandoned for less than that. Let's not be so dramatic. If he doesn't own up, I'll expose you and it'll be back to the forest for everybody. She's right, Wash. It's all my fault. I'm the one who should be punished. Wait, there's got to be another solution. Doubt it. I mean, we know where to find more. And where would that be? In the forest, AKA our old neighborhood. We should be able to go and get back before dinner. Yeah, well, I don't see how you'll ever get enough. No problem. I've got the best truffle detector in the whole world. Sam Snout. Yeah? How are you gonna keep him from eating them once he smells them? Working on it. <laughs> What was that noise? It's nothing. Nothing but nice, fun nature. Okay, let's get going. Wait, don't the truffles only grow near? Yes, Mitch's cave. That's the one little thing. If Mrs. L comes back before those dummies return, I'm the only one who's going to get in trouble. We'll help you. We don't want you to get punished. You're going to help me keep her out of the kitchen. I've got a couple awesome ideas, naturally. Ready? Go! Ta-da! You rule wash. Thanks for keeping me out of trouble. No probs, bro. That's what best friends are for. <laughs> Did someone say best friend? I knew it was you guys. You missed Mitch, didn't you? Uh, actually, no. <laughs> hey, Mitch, what a nice surprise. <laughs> and now we'll never ever get separated again. No, seriously, Mitch, we're in a hurry. Okay, salad fork, truffle fork, steak knife. Okay. Just keep Mrs. L out of the kitchen for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. No, Eugenie, I'll play with you later, Bunny. Out of the way now. No. No. But I just finished setting the table. The stress is getting to me. You guys can move in with me and do everything I say. It'll be great. You can bring me human food. Mm -hmm. huh? I should tie you up. Maybe you'd like to hang upside down from the tree all night. Oh, you guys want some cricket cookies? Hold on. I forget what a bad temper he has. No kidding. Remember the time we went swimming with him? <laughs> mm? <gasps> oh, you bought snakes. No. <laughs> it's not for you right now. It's for after, after the show. Huh? What show? Uh, yeah, what show? The show to celebrate our reunion, Sam. The one we talked about? What are you talking about? We never talked about a show. <laughs> anyway, show time. Sam, why don't we start with a song? Uh, okay. I know Fairy Jacka. Okay. Fairy Jacka, Fairy Jacka. 
Enough! My turn. I'm gonna do a wonderful magic trick. Choose a card. Any card. <laughs> No, honey, no, I'm busy. I'll play with you later. No, don't! You're gonna make me lose my balance! Ah! 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 Oh, no. Right, I've got just enough time to go and get new flowers. And you, little rascals, are going to go play in the yard. Shoot! Shoot! <laughs> Rush, my nose is starting to itch. Oh, hey, Mitch, I know a great magic trick, too. You do? Watch closely. I'm going to go all around the cave without touching the ground. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, right. Sam? Hocus pocus, flying fungus. Ah. <laughs> truffles, truffles, truffles. Bravo! Is this part of the trick? Hey, you get back here and have more fun. Wow, best magic trick ever. Jumbles! 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 We're coming! <laughs> what are you doing in here, you little rascal? Get away from my truffles! Okay, time to cook now. Come on, honey. How could you know your boss was allergic to truffles? Uh, my career is over. Quite possible. But what am I going to do with all of this now? Animals, come in here! <laughs> no point in letting the rest go to waste. Someone should enjoy my masterpiece while it's fresh. Well, you are officially the most spoiled pets in the neighborhood. <laughs> bon appetit, little ones. <laughs> Deal about these things anyway. <laughs> uh, yum! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Well, they say, let sleeping dogs lie. And our next dog, a sleeping sheep dog, did just that as his owner found out when he taped his furry friend before he went to work. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious! Hey, we could do that. I have a camera. And tape all the cute things our little gang does when we leave. Great idea, hon. Now, if I can just remember where I put it. So, where is his spoiled majesty Washington? Oh no, when I left he was having a bad dream. I didn't want to huh? interrupt. I mean, where is he sleeping? One of his stupid secret spots? I can't say. Hmm. Come on, it must be a pretty quiet spot if you can sleep this late. <laughs> Hmm, I've checked the closet, so I know he's not in the closet. Hmm, you might as well just tell me. Oh, you can have the rest of my breakfast. <coughs> Here. Perfect. Rig that bad boy in 3.4 seconds. And not a moment too soon. We're gonna be late. 
Have a good day, Furbox! That includes you, Washington. Shake a leg, boy! <laughs> Everyone, just act perfectly normal for the nice camera. Perfectly normal. Goes clear? Mm -hmm. What's up, Earthlings? Hmm. I'm starving. If I must, I must. Hey, what's your problem? The problem is you. Hey! Oh. What'd I do? <laughs> yeah. ah. Thanks for attacking Wash. That was nice. What are you talking about? Yeah, show me where he sleeps. No way. I promise. Hey, I know. How about you guys get off of me right now? Oops. Sorry, Washington. What? is going on? You've been caught on tape. <laughs> Naked. What? What's going to happen when the living stones watch the tape and see a fox in their kitchen? We don't. What? Don't be silly. You know, I'm great with electronics. I just have to erase the tape. Come on. Trust me. Must be a new model. Hmm. Come on, delete! Delete, delete, delete! <laughs> okay, great. Let's try something else. Oh, so you didn't show the camera who's the boss of it? Nope, but I've got a new plan. And Vic, you're a big part of it. What kind? I had to touch fur with you beasts once today already. Trust me, you're gonna like this. But first, Sam, go get me my suit. Probably eating dinner, but a wild fox has our dog. 
I repeat, a wild fox has our dog. Please help. Get the wild fox and enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Letting you out of our sight for a second. Not even for a nanosecond. <laughs> this is a nightmare. I know. Wash is out there all alone. I've got to do something. I just meant us sharing a lap. You better tell me where his secret room is. There he is! <gasps> I think I saw him! Are you sure? Small with red hair and a ferocious smile? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh, oops, wait a minute. My mistake, it was just my son. Get back in here. <laughs> oh no, Sam! Quick, he needs fresh air. <laughs> Not too much, the fox could get in. I'll get you some water, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> I think he needs treats, too. Forget about wearing it. Just throw it out the window. And have everyone see Washington's costume just lying on the ground? Oh, yeah. They might wonder where his bones went, huh? Sam, you're good and stuck. Do something, please. You're welcome. Now you have to tell me where this stupid secret spot is. Well, I am grateful for your help. There's huh? only one way I can consider it. Are you kidding? You want me to wear that moldy, crusty, smelly boy dog costume? If you want to see the secret spot. Fine. But that's dealing dirty. Washington. Washington. Oh. No. Washington! Where are you, you stupid beast? Huh? What the? Why are you hiding in this filthy suit, you... Oh, dog food? Wait a minute. Oh. Ah, Washington! It's me! Hello, me? Dummy! Now get me out of this germ blanket! Whoa! It's you! Awesome! I thought it was you that was me! <gasps> Come on! Act scared! Arf, 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 arf. Oh, thank ah. goodness! We were so worried! Okay, have we got everybody now? <laughs> yes, Animal Control, it's me again, uh, Mr. Livingstone. I'm just calling to say that it seems a fox did not kidnap our dog. That's right, did not. Well, it's all yours. Congrats and stuff. Hmm, it needs work, but I'll take it. Washington's secret hideout is finally mine. <laughs> <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Life, Sam. No dirt, no bugs, no annoying bear. Back in the forest, my only entertainment was picking ticks off my butt. <laughs> Hello, Hello, everyone! everyone. Coming up on Bling My Day House, a doghouse with its own home office. Wow, we could do better than that. How'd you like your very own blinged doghouse, Wash? Huh, boy? Doghouse? <laughs> How come dogs get all the cool stuff? What? Dog houses are the worst. Me, I'll take the people house with AC and snacks. Hmm, Wash doesn't seem excited. Not like the dogs on TV. Strange. Hmm. Ha! Oh! Oh, whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Honey, I think Wash wants a doghouse duplex. For him and his best bud, <laughs> Sam. Yeah? Ah! Uh, you heard the dog. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh, honey, I married the best pet owner in the whole world. I'm gonna make you your favorite rhubarb pie. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> yum! <laughs> oh, Wash, you have no idea what it's like to have to pretend to like that disgusting rhubarb pie. Lucky you're a dog. Huh? <laughs> Come on, boy, aren't you excited? Time to move in yet? Not exactly. Keep it simple, that's my motto. Weird, I feel like I'm being watched. That's what I thought, but it's <laughs> just Vic. I heard something in that tree. Ha! <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but I swear I smelled Mitch the bear. <laughs> I would know the smell of his salmon breath anywhere. Mitch? But he lives in the forest. How would he know where to find us? Don't know. All I know is if it's Mitch, it's not good. He wants something. Ah, uh, it's just Vic. She loves to stare. It's one of her main talents. I don't know. Look at your new homeboys. Pretty great, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Wash? Go on, boy. <laughs> Tell you what, let's go get your toys to furnish your pad. Come on, Sam. Here, Wash. Everything looks normal. We'll circle back once more. That was close. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, is that a cave? I got a treat this morning and I saved it for you. It's called a housewarming gift. No, oh, you genie. Can I have just one little bite? Sure, in fact, we should eat that before we go back out there. Just in case. Wash, you heard you, Genie. It's to warm our house. Here's a little something from me. Old newspaper? You can read it and pee on it. It's like two gifts in one. <sighs> I'm sure it's all perfectly safe. Sure it is. <sighs> yep. Nothing here. 
just my imagination. I can't believe I was acting so crazy. Ah, you guys. Ah! Mitch, what are you doing here? Hiding from those lights. They think they can get me, <laughs> but I'm smarter than them. Boys, I got a possible robbery in progress. Copy that. No bears here. I repeat, no bear. We're on our way. Well, good for you. But you know, you can't stay here, right? Yep, but neither can you. Living with humans, it's against the laws. Laws? What laws? The laws of nature. Anyway, I thought we were friends. We are friends. Long distance friends. Mm -hmm. We live here and you live way over there. Cool, huh? Not cool. I'm taking you guys home to the woods. We're going to be best next door neighbor friends. <laughs> What are these? Mmm! <laughs> Whoa! -ho 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 -ho! You guys eat those all the time? Yep, after a walk, after a pee. Nope, those are only for special occasions. Very special occasions. This is a special occasion. I came all the way from the forest. So if you don't get me some more, we're leaving right now. No problem, pal. I'll be right back with extra special treats. <laughs> ah! What are you doing back <gasps> so soon? Mitch! It's Mitch! He's in the doghouse. He's come to take us back to the woods. What was that? I hope it wasn't your rhubarb pie exploding, because that would be a tragedy. I'd better investigate. Hey, Washington. What's the matter, boy? <laughs> You don't like the doghouse I poured all my heart and soul into building for you? <laughs> More dog food? Well, okay. Just don't tell the missus. Hmm? Pie's almost done. Yummy. Now I know why you like it here so much. Go get me more. <laughs> And bring me one of these, but softer and bigger. <laughs> Keep the elves busy. We can't risk them coming out while Mitch is here. here? Um, nothing. Let me see. Mm? <gasps> oh, what are you? Uh, uh. <laughs> so pretty. So soft. Uh. She's a house cat. She, um, doesn't like to be held. Welcome to my house, house cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like the pie's uh, done! Uh, yum, I can taste it already. It just needs to cool a little. Only five more minutes! <laughs> Can't wait! Mm, it smells good! Watch that! Give me that! You want the pie? I can't do that. That's human food. Humans love pie. Well, guess what? I have a feeling I love pie, too! Okay, okay. Pie's on the way. <laughs> hey. hey, get over here! Give me that! Give him the pie, Wash! Come on, Washington. He's getting really mad. <laughs> I want dessert! My pie! Where did it go? Oh, no! Not 
the pie! <laughs> Honey, are you okay? <laughs> Give me my pie! <laughs> you want your pie? Go get it! Freeze, fur bag! Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry about your doghouse, boy. You'll just have to make do with our house. And here's a little something to make it cozier. My famous rhubarb pie. <sighs> Lucky us. Is that you? I smell you, pie. And now that I love you, I'll be back. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Care of that. Now then, where did my dream leave off? Ah! Uh, this is not good. Ah! Come on, snap out of it! Hey! Look, guys, don't worry about a thing. I'll take all the blame. Don't even try to talk me out of it. I simply insist. No, no. I'm telling you, I can handle it. Really. 
my very first sculpture in just one class. Can you believe it? Uh, no, I really can't. I'll just set it here to dry. It really reflects my inner feelings about the basic human condition. Who knew there was an artist inside of me just waiting to blossom? Uh... I love it, honey. It's really like, like, uh, like art. <laughs> no? Washington, did you do this? <laughs> oh, that was my grandmother's face. <laughs> oh, honey, look at his face. He didn't mean to break it. You know how clumsy dogs are. You're right. My grandmother didn't even like that vase very much. And I didn't really like my grandmother. Me neither. Well, I think Washington has learned his lesson. Right, Washington? He's really sad. Oh. Aw, okay, Wash. We should be going. Our dinner reservations are for seven. What time is it now? Uh, 6.59 and 18 seconds. <laughs> yeah! Thanks for taking the blame, Washington. There's no way I can handle so much shaming. Whoa, you're a master. Let me try. I can't do that pain face you do. Well, I hope this is a lesson learned. One, I'm an excellent actor, and two, you guys really <laughs> should <not. laughs> Hey, did you not hear what I just said? I will not cover for you again. You've got nothing to worry about, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! If anything happens to this thing, the Living Stones will blame me for it, and my sad face trick will only work once! <laughs> Just smash it already so I can get back to my beauty sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna get you! Hey, that's enough! Hey, listen to me! Come on, hey! What? That's not enough. I need them to be quiet once and for all. <laughs> what? How? How did that happen? Huh? What? What happened? Something broke? Oh, no. <laughs> What's for Washington? They're going to think he did it. Oh, Ray, why? Because they already took the blame for us last time with the vase. They're going to think he did this too. <laughs> to fix this! Ah! We? Yes, we! Come on! All right, all right. I think I remember what it looked like. Let me try this. Wow, 
well, well, well. Not bad. Not bad at all, if I may say so. Yodely. What is it? Mrs. L's statue. The one she brought in. It looked just like that. The one she loves so much? Mm. Yeah, that one. The one she's so proud of? The one that makes her so happy? Yes, yes. No? It didn't look like that. At all. You're right. Who am I kidding? This looks like it was put together in a blender. I think I can fix this. That's worse. It looks like nothing at all. Let me try. It's my turn! <laughs> Not bad, huh? I like the way it looks as though he's playing in a sandbox. Longing for the days of his youth. Wait! What are we doing? What about the statue? Oh no, they're back! Ah! Wait! Everybody, calm down! Panic is not the answer! Panic is never the answer! <laughs> well, thanks guys. Looks like I'm in really big trouble. Not a second to lose! Right here! Okay! Uh, some wings? Uh, no head? Uh, a bit like this? <gasps> Look, hon! They love my sculpture! It almost looks like they're worshipping it! <laughs> Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. like a fluffy cloud, isn't it? Oh, sweet. Oh, honey, should we let them in the bed? Hmm. Victoria's already here. Don't you think one is enough? But look how sad they are. Fine. All yeah. aboard! Yeah. <laughs> A little to the left, Washington. Uh, that's my arm, Sam. You can't sleep in my shirt, Eugenie. Okay. Come on. Good night. I was here first. Does that mean anything these days? Now, Vic, there's plenty of room. Just bend at the right angle and don't breathe. Too much. My tail isn't a sleep mask, Sam. It works great. Go roll in some mud. I had a dream that I was falling. Oh, I guess it wasn't a dream. That's okay. I often dream I'm flying. Bye. 
Good morning, sunshine. Oh. Wait, honey, I'm going to prepare you another coffee. Is Mr. L okay? Hmm, the last time I saw him acting this weird was when Mrs. L told him her mother was coming to visit. Uh, hey, I must leave for work now. Bye, dear. I'm leaving for something. Hey, did the door shrink? Huh, that can't be good. Where does he go every day? The park, silly. Bye-bye, honey. Have a nice day. From now on, only one pet is allowed to sleep in the bed. Okay, honey. We'll try it your way. Only one pet in the bed? First one there wins. <laughs> yes! I win! Fair and square. I win. It looks a lot less scary in that big bed. I'm sure Vic will understand. It's a thunderstorm. Uh, I don't think so. I think she'll be really cool. <laughs> Just... Uh, that's it! Everybody down! Look at them! They're freaky! <laughs> Fine. But just for... Yay! Tonight. This was supposed to be my night, you bunch of fake furs. about a rude awakening. to get them thrown off my human's huh? bed. Uh, deal. Spot stealers, I'll show you. <laughs> hmm. Please. <laughs> she forgot we're protected by a shield of fake fur. Almost like superheroes. <laughs> An intruder with itching powder? No, oh, it's even worse! Please! All right, you flea bags. There's no way I'm gonna let you ruin my night ever again. First, a great big dip in the flea bath. Close them off, darling. There you go, Sam. Go and get dry now. Now it's bath time for Bunny. All righty, dear, your turn. You can say goodbye to your parasites, Eugenie. Now go dry off with Sam. And now for the leader of the pack. A good spring cleaning to get rid of these invaders. The most infested of them all. There you go, Washington. Susie? Uh, amazing. She's going all by herself. Sorry, guys. You'll have to stay in there all day until the flea dip takes effect. Relax and dry off. I hope we're all less itchy tonight. Yeah, get comfy, guys. I'll be inside on the bed some more. By myself. <laughs> you 
may have won this round, Victoria, but just wait. As soon as we dry off and get released, you are toast, lady. Toast. Toast? If you mean warm and dry and loved by all, yes, I am. Ha! See ya. Are they dry yet? Mr. and Mrs. L will be getting home. <gasps> code red! We've got a code red! Everything all... Uh huh? Meow? Did I just... Oh. Never mind. I haven't been getting enough sleep lately. Come on out, guys. <laughs> this isn't working. I can't see a thing. Come on. Ooh. Give them one more chance. No, honey. They're just too dirty. Let's face it. Victoria is the only one who grooms herself on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> A lady always keeps her boudoir clean. Meow. <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. <laughs> this will never work. It doesn't stink enough. If only someone around you had a stinky litter box. Sam, what have you been eating? Anything. Now, we just need to make it look like it came from Victoria's box. Ooh, she's tracked cat litter all over the bed. Get out of here. What a crazy... <laughs> oh well, might as well join them. It's a little chilly in here. I'm gonna give you a blanket so you don't get cold. Find some nice cool mud to sleep in. Good idea. Fly that boar flag. Mm -hmm. mm. didn't wake up. What, Sam? I was having a dream. <laughs> huh? Huh? Shh! I know. Shh. Uh, just need some water. Hey, guys. <laughs> Whew, that was close. What a beautiful night. Let's sleep on the chairs. <laughs> That's enough. Win some, lose some. Come on, Dick. There's plenty of room here. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I'm 
never! <laughs> What's up with Victoria? Yeah. Why isn't she angry at us? Victoria? Hey, Vic. What's wrong? Hey, Vic. Vicky. Vickster? Hey, hey. What's going on? Are you okay? Why aren't you getting angry at us? confused about who we're calling. The vet. I didn't want to say it in front of the pets. You know how they hate the vet. Remember what happened last time. Oh. 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 Yeah, right. Not a good day. Uh, I have the flu. Leave me alone. You poor thing. Sorry and stuff. If I could just sneeze, I might feel a little better. Ooh, the flu? Hmm. I never get the flu. Never. Never? The second I get a sniffle, I just do an old forest anti-flu ritual, and that's it. Flu gone. Here. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha choo. 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 Wild animals only, not for sensitive house pets like Vic. It could overtake her. You're right. Uh, Who knows what could happen? Uh, Let me think. Uh, Who? Uh, uh, oh, food. Yeah. Ah! Food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> It's the vet. Uh, the vet? Uh, yes. uh, uh, Phew! Not a good day. Susie, it's up to you. Uh, Doc? Yes? It's our cat, Victoria. I think she's got the flu. Normally, I'd bring her in, but she's just so weak. Could you possibly swing by our place and check on her? Well, keep her hydrated and watch her closely for the next couple hours. If she's not any better, then I guess I'll come right over. I should probably give the rest of your animals a once-over, too. <laughs> ew! 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 Germs! Ew! Gross! <laughs> 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 Who's ever heard of a vet being afraid of germs? Well, Doc, you do sound busy. I'll uh, keep you posted. The vet will be over very soon if Vic's not feeling better. How long do we have? Do you know? Uh, a couple of hours, I think. Or was it a few minutes? Well, one of those. And guess what? If he comes, he's checking all of us. <clears throat> we got to keep him out of here. Way too risky. You mean... He could give us shots? Or clean our ears? Or use the thermometer again? Yeah. Uh, or find our zippers? Uh, <gasps> yeah, exactly. Gasp! And if that happens, we're back out in the wild. So we gotta get Vic better. Got it? Yes! yes. <laughs> Great news, Vic. Nurse Washington and his team are here to get you well. This patient needs a cold cloth. Water! 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 Hmm. 
this patient needs ice. Ice! 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 ice. Ouch! Oops. So cold! The patient needs warmth. Thank you. Wow, well, gotta say, Vic, you look better already. Right, Sam? <laughs> Good job, guys. High fives <laughs> all around. <laughs> Does this mean we can have our food now? Oh, no, Vic! You're not supposed to wrap yourself in blankets when you're sick. You'll get a fever. You'd better call the vet and tell him to come over right away. Mm -hmm. No, we can't get our food now. Uh, hello. Uh, hi, Doc. We've been watching Vic, but she's not getting any better. My wife just burned her finger on her fur. Fine. I'm coming now. He's on the way. What to do? What to do? Ah! No. I'm here to help make the sick go away. Why don't you go away? I have something really important to say that I think will really help. Okay, here goes. If you don't get better, can I have all your yarn balls? How does that help me? I thought it would motivate you to get better. Uh, 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 if I could just sneeze. Chili peppers, of course! Mm -hmm. I mean, chili peppers to sneeze. Great! I bet that'll clear her up. You smell delicious. <laughs> Guys, I know it seems risky, but it's our only option. Our ancient forest anti-flu ritual. Well, Washington, we can't. What choice do we have? We gotta try something. The vet'll be here any second. Huh? The vet? How come nobody told me the vet was coming? I can't do the thermometer. Uh -huh. Washington, please do your forest magic. It's my only hope. Mm. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha choo. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha choo. All together. Wow. Well, I hope he's coming soon. We have a situation right here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey! I can breathe again! Wow! Now I won't get the thermometer thanks to you guys! <coughs> Thank goodness you're here! She's like a limp little rag! There she is, Doctor! <laughs> so, nose dryness, good elasticity, hmm. right, tongue flexibility, perfect. Is this some kind of joke? This feline is fit as a fiddle. Wow, you are sickly. <laughs> So sick, in fact, your fur looks almost like a costume. I better get my thermometer and take his temperature. Oh, the humanity! I'm freaking out! Glad it's not me. Hi, Chuck. Hi, Chuck. Oh. Ah. 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 Yes, yes, you're.
your dog is definitely sick. Ew, ew, gross, germs, ew. Just give it one of these every four hours. <laughs> ew, gross, ew. Forget my number. Bye, doctor. Send us the bill. What a great vet coming all the way out here. That's a professional at work. Hi, cha, hi, cha, hi, cha. I mean, cha, just look at hi, Washington. Cha, hi, cha, He's better hi, cha, already. Chu. Hi, cha, hi, cha, hi, cha, chu. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go buy a cake to celebrate. That was close. The forest anti flu ritual works every time. <laughs> 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 well, most of the time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Look at it, Sam. <gasps> Leftovers from lunch. What do you think it is this time? Cool. Greasy. Stinky. Delicious. Delicious. Happy Hungry with a brand new noodle box you can take with you anywhere you want. <gasps> My head. What is that horrific noise? <laughs> <laughs> Gracie and Alfie, the worst. What was that about? I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> oh, a toy xylophone, the worst of the worst. can't take their human food? If that happens, then we get the bad boy! Bad boy! Bad boy! Oh, right. Leftovers are a special gift that the humans give us for being good boys. If we start snatching stuff, we'll be denied treats forever. Forever? Forever! The only way we're gonna get our teeth into that delicious treat is by behaving ourselves and being good boys. Good boy! Good yeah, boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! <gasps> I'm a good boy! Yay for you! <laughs> mm. <laughs> Being a good boy makes my face hurt! <laughs> Stupid kids! Never had a clue what happened! <laughs> That means we get to run around like crazy and make lots of noise. It's a free pass freak out! Yeah. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Meow! Arf, woof, arf! What? Bunnies don't get to make excited sounds like you guys, so I made some up. Huh? Oh! <laughs> oh, hello, children! Mrs. Appleton! Uh, what brings you over? Uh, Mrs. Livingstone, I... Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, 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 oh. Your music toy is lost, sweetheart! No, Mommy, I want Let's it! Let's get out of here! Normally, I wouldn't ask you, but could you watch Gracie and Alfie for an hour, please? It's an emergency! Mm. Oh, uh, well, yes, of course. 
They're really sweet kids. You remember. They just love your cat. Victoria, right? Don't let them eat nuts or dairy or anything pink. I'll be right back. <laughs> Hmm. I'm sure my old toys are here somewhere. Oh no, Alfie and Gracie! Wait, this should be good. Good boys. <laughs> here we go! <laughs> the Painbot 3000! Keeping them occupied. Let's not disturb them for an hour. Come on, let's sneak out of the room. Sam, this is it. It is? Wait, what is it? It's a test, don't you see? If we help the elves with the kids, they'll see we're good boys and they'll have to reward us with a box of leftovers. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Washington, are you sure about this? Uh huh. <laughs> These leftovers are gonna taste all the more delicious once we're done with these sweet little angels! Sam, is all this worth some leftovers? Let me think about that. Mm, yes! Welcome to Gracie's hair salon! Hey! Or maybe not. Run! Uh, you have to hide me. Victoria, is that some sort of game? Yes, yes, just do it, now! Okay! <laughs> Are you sure? Absolutely!
Be Mrs. Appleton. Oh, we're saved. I got them exactly what they wanted. Oh, thank you for watching the kids. Well, actually, we. Oh, you guys found it. Well, now we have to double the music. <laughs> Where's Alfie? Kitty. <laughs> there you are. I told you he loves your cat. When I split them up, he'll freak. Oh, why tear them apart? <laughs> sure. We'll come get Vic later when the kids are asleep. And quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> come on, kids. <sighs> oh, one last thing. I have some leftovers. Would anyone want any? <laughs> well, you guys have been very good boys today, haven't you? Haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> You'd think we were living with a couple of wild animals. Oh! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Okay? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Meow. Arf, arf. Oh, is Sam Sam arf, hungry? Arf. I thought I just opened that this morning. Uh, that'll be enough for you today. Enjoy your meal. Ten second view. Sam? Sam? Sam! Someone shrunk my costume. Someone shrunk it. Get back in your suit right now. If you don't, everybody will notice that you're not a cat but a big fat boar. <laughs> You guys, Sam's costume doesn't fit anymore. Give me a hand, fast. <laughs> Sam, enunciate. Uh, I think he says I'm suffocating. <laughs> You've got to fight for your right to get back into costume. Come on! No, Sam! No, Sam! Master pal! Hey! Where are you going? Whoa, man. What's all the racket? Come on, Sam. Your training's not over. Hmm. 
Well, I'll be. You. A pig that meows. Arf, 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 arf. Arf, 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 arf. It, go away with your weird bark. <laughs> Sam, I'm gonna get you out. We're going to hoist you over. Honey! Who wants a treat? <laughs> Hang on tight, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I love that toy. Good boy. Get it, honey bunch. Sam, what about your diet? You don't understand. You're just a skinny fox. I hate squeezing into my costume, and I like eating cookies. Huh? Ree, ree. Miss Treat likes the real me. But Sam, the warmth of a cookie can't compare to the warmth of a family. Well... There you go, honey bunch! <laughs> I'd rather leave than see any more of this. Farewell, Sam. Ah, there you are. But where's Sam? Sam? <laughs> Sam, no. you! No. Ah, Sam. Are you okay, boy? You look slim. Wait a minute. I've got something for you. Wow, Sam. You look slim and trim. Think it's me, Washington in disguise. How does Sam do it? It's exhausting. I need to take a break. Honey, where's Washington? Hmm? Washington? Washington! 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 Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only one name that's Honey Bunch. Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only one name that's Honey Bunch. Come here, Honey Bunch, my little lunch. <sighs> Looks like somebody's putting on weight. <laughs> here we go, the diet talk. Well done, my friend. Enjoy! You can eat one more, can't you, piggy boy? This is great! Washington? Oh no! I'd rather leave than see any more of this. It's all my fault that he left. This was his first birthday with us. I looked really cute that day. Maybe somewhere along the way, we stopped showing Washington how much we love him. Oh, honey, you're great. It's me. I've been too wrapped up in my work. Group hug! <coughs> no cookie can compare to Washington, even if it is insanely, unbelievably delicious. Washington, you just hang in there. I'm gonna bring you back home. Honey? Honey Bunch! Where are you, ham to be? Oh. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, you little piece of fat ham? What the? Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only one name that's Honey Bunch. 
say, isn't that the nickname that lady gave to Sam? Honey Bunch? Yep! So that means Sam is gonna be on TV! Yes! yes. Uh, no, not exactly. He's gonna be in the oven! She's gonna turn him into a big fat ham? No! Hmm? <sighs> <sighs> Sam, come back! Come on, Vic. It's good karma. Meow, meow, meow. I think Victoria wants a cuddle, dear. Say you want ham, say you want lunch. There's only one name that's honey, but... Sam! <sighs> Washington, help! Let's go home, buddy. What's all that racket? Oh, man! Hey, that's my costume. Not bad, right? Sam! Pastor Sam, she wants you for dinner. Come back here, honey bunch. The oven is preheated. Pastor Sam, faster! Come on, I'm here for you, buddy. Focus! No, Sam! No, Sam! No, Sam! Faster! She's gaining on us! This is our chance! Yeah! I'll never be so selfish anymore. <sighs> Don't worry, Sam. The most important thing is that we're still best friends. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Honey, look who's home. Give me a hug, my sweet little doggy. <laughs> P.U. Somebody smells like garbage. <laughs> P.U., you, you stink. Right. Okay. Starting now, it's all about motivation. New eating habits, new Sam. Huh? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Another reason to be thankful we're now indoor pets. What? What's the other reason? <laughs> I can't see anything except green. That's what I mean. <clears throat> we're all nice and dry indoors. Instead of out in the rain for once. <sighs> What's wrong with the rain? That 
animals a disgrace to cats. Seriously, Wash, rainy days in the woods weren't so bad. Are you kidding? We can never find a bush big enough to cover your butt. I would always burrow deep into my foxhole until it was over. <sighs> no wonder you decided to glom onto my awesome indoor life. Like pooping in a box? Okay, Washington, time to do your business. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Come on, Washington, I don't want to play chase right now. <laughs> Washington? <laughs> Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Wash! <laughs> Mercy, not as young as I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Is this fun for you? Because it is not fun for me. Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Almost too easy. Gotcha! What has gotten into you? Washington won't go out! I don't know why he's acting this way! Maybe he just doesn't want to get soaked. Think about it, dear. Hey, I'm not the one who goes to the bathroom outside. Washington, I'm going to go dry off. Then I'm going to take an aspirin and lie down. When I come back, you are going outside. Ooh, you're yeah. in trouble. All right, all right. You don't have to make it so dramatic. What else are we going to do? Many days are boring. You just better hope the rain stops by the time Mr. L comes back. Big deal. Even if it does, no problemo. I can hold it. Not me. I gotta go. Be back. Get out of Let's all go together. <laughs> Guess I'm the only one who goes to the bathroom outdoors. Like a gentleman. How long can this rain last anyway? Washington? Washington! <laughs> but where the heck is that dumb dog? <laughs> wow. What the? This ottoman could use a good scrub. It stinks. Or I need to wash my feet. Oh, Washington! <laughs> what? I do not stink. A human's nose is a hundred times less sharp than ours, and he could still smell you. Yes, you do stink. <sighs> After dinner, tonight. No way! I bet for tomorrow, 8 a.m. I give him one more hour before he explodes. No, you guys are awful. I can't believe this is what you think of Washington, our friend. Thank you, Sam. He can last at least two days, and I'm willing to bet everything I've got on that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't decide if I'm flattered or betrayed. It's hard to think when you really, really have to go. <laughs> Ha! 
<laughs> not in your dreams. Not in your imagination. Not even in your imagination while you're dreaming. Fine. You're not the only one with a litter box. No, but I'm the only one with a litter box that employs anti-you technology. <laughs> This is a mess. Is that a bone? Ugh. Sam, what are you eating? No, oh, no! It would be more painful to use that litter box than to hold it in any longer. What is all this? Eugenie, your crate is filled with junk. It's not junk. A sleeping bag with storage pocket, a weird clock, a bunch of small portraits of numbers, and that's an apple. No way, it's too tight. I need bathroom! 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 Stop! You can't fit in there! No, Washington, the need to pee is getting to your brain! You've gone crazy! <laughs> bathroom! I think it's time for action. Bathroom! <laughs> You know, splashing me with water isn't the best way to get me to forget that I have to go to the bathroom. <gasps> Wait! This is where the humans go. I can just use this room like they do. Some privacy, please. You can't. It's impossible. Who knows if humans even go to the bathroom? Of course humans go to the bathroom. How do you know? I've smelled things. Great. You can discuss this further outside. <laughs> Send me a recap. Okay, Washington, you can figure this out. What would a human do in here? No, that can't be right. How are you supposed to bury it after you're done? Maybe they use these to smell better after they've done their business. But there are so many different ones. Man, humans must really stink the place up. Well, I know it couldn't be this big water bowl. Who would do such a thing to perfectly good drinking water? Forget it. Maybe Sam's right, because I don't see how humans can use this room at all. Go take a hike! No, oh, how can every bush be taken? I can't just go out in the open like this! I can't do this to food! No! Oh, how can so many things fit under one sink? No more choice! I can't hold it anymore! Wash? Washington? But what are you doing, boy? Just look at that! That's amazing! This little fella just learned how to go by himself now! What a clever dog! This really deserves a photo, dear! Sure it does! <laughs> See you later, boy! And don't forget to flush when you leave! Ah, free at last! And it's a beautiful day now! Hmm, 
I like the smell of the grass after the rain. What? Don't worry, Betty. I got you covered. 